This is a Shields of Shame exclusive. 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 Got a large amount of cash. Huh? There's a large amount of cash right here. Five, five should come along. You have to one. Yeah, I've already got it in the evidence over here. tells us uh, his wife is mad because he spent all this money before they leave to go on a trip to Vegas. You know, because I, I had a sneaky feeling one of, my, one of a mutual friend of ours had told me that, you know, he guaranteed that there was a damn loan against it. So mm -hmm. I took the time, I took the venom to the bank and told him I wanted to, you know, see if I could get a loan for it. And that's when they showed me that it had a, a lean on it. A lean on it, yep. Okay, my name is Rhett Trudy, all right? I'm hey. Rhett. My last name's Trudy. I'm a special agent with the GBI, okay? You don't need any kind of trouble, all right? None at all, okay? It's about Mike, isn't it? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, look, you are in custody, but this is nothing to do with what you've been talking about. I'm on probation, right, right, This has nothing to do with that. No, but his promise to have is going to be dropped. Okay, well, you're, this is, you're technically a witness of this, but I'm going to read you your rights anyway. It's just a oh little check. Just so you like, Am I going to have extra charges? No, I told you you're not in any kind of trouble, but just to cover my butt, I'm reading you your rights. That way you know that you don't have to talk to me, okay? But like I said, you're not in any kind of trouble. You're not a suspect in this investigation whatsoever. Um, then why are y'all here to talk to me? Okay. Because so, I'm in his paperwork. Well, I mean, there's a bunch of people. There's a bunch of names that are coming up. There's a bunch of, I'm talking to so many people. I can't, even, I can't even begin to, you know, discuss it. So... Let me just read you your rights real quick, okay? All right, number one, you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. This is my probation officer over here? Uh, no, I've not spoken to your probation officer. Okay. Um, do you understand each of these rights as I have explained them to you? Yes, sir. All right, having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me? Yeah. I haven't threatened you or promised you anything, have I? Right. As in, I have not, correct? Right, you're correct. You have not offered me that. Right, so... Just... Tell me what you know about Mike, what's going on between y'all, I and mean, just be he honest was, with you. He was my arresting officer. Okay, where at? When? In Middlesbrough, Georgia. Okay. I caught my first and only charge. I thought it was in March or May. I don't think I got to put on probation until June 2017. So June of 2017, May of 2017? I think I went to, I think, yeah, May 2017. Okay, around May of 2017, Mike I took my charge. Him. Okay, what did he arrest you for? Possession. Of methamphetamine, two, I think it was like less than two grams. I did not speak with Mike until June 2017. Okay, was it a traffic stop? How did yes. it work? Okay. Yes, he pulled a cab over and got me out of the cab. I was a passenger. Okay, and then in June of 2017 is when he talked mm -hmm. to you? I helped him over at, um, lock up Joshua Benson, who was just sentenced to 33 years in prison. Okay. How did that? How did that go down? When he started talking to you in June, what was he talking about? What did that he, he would help me get my fines dropped. And so, how did it work? If I help, if I help him get Joshua Benson, then he would help get my fine dropped. Well, then it, I guess the you know he was accidentally released. I'm trying to think of the lady's name. She's the the DA here in Millersville. Mm -hmm. Sandra accidentally gave him a bond and he filed it for two years on April 1st, 2019. I was subpoenaed, I was subpoenaed for like a year before I actually went to court with him. My testimony sent him to prison for 33 years. He told me he had the DA working to get my probation docked and then Mr. Rose called me to come in. Of course I was dirty and I was sitting here. Mm -hmm. And Mike was arrested 30 minutes after I was locked up. This is a shield of shame exclusive. Or apparently I'll be sitting here. I have no idea. I don't, I, don't, I don't even remember the lady's name that talked to me at the courtroom, but she told me she was going to help Mike get my probation drawn because I testified 
Okay, so when you did work, did he give you the Joshua Benson's name, or did you already know Joshua Benson? I, I was living in a motel, the same motel as him. Okay, so but you, they had been watching him. But you knew who he was. It, it was yeah, yeah. Out of the but I had, he has, look, we've had a relationship for two years. He went to Macon, and he got me to come to Macon to purchase that from a girl. Uh, who is now probably sits in when prison. Mike went to Jones County, he got you to help do some stuff up there? Mm hmm Okay. All right, so what kind of stuff did you do for the Benson? I purchased I mean, you bought the Benson. The uh, they were waiting to get, they were waiting to do a traffic stop, and uh, they did a traffic stop with me and another individual who ended up going to jail because he had marijuana on him. I didn't know that the guy that was with me was working for Mike. And he tried to put his weed in my drink. I don't, I don't smoke weed. Yeah. So he ended up going to jail for a misdemeanor. But as we were passing the motel, the guy in the back of the car said, hey, there he is right there. And they called him with like an ounce of dope and some pills and stuff like that. Um, a big bus. I'm talking about big people. Like, do you, do you know that, have you heard of the case of um, Ernest Green? Mm -hmm. I helped him lure, I helped lure him in. He told me I was gonna get paid for that. Another girl in the dorm says her and her sister got paid for it. But he was coming to see me at my house when they got him at the hotel house. Okay. <laughs> so did he ever, did he ever pay you for any of the work that you did? Not until he went to Jones County. So at Millsville, you never got paid for it? I think paid. his lieutenant paid me $40 one time. But I would never sign the paperwork to be a confidential informant. Mm -hmm. I, I told him I was more of an IC, an information consultant. <laughs> But Mike's a, a good person at heart. I, I mean, if I needed a vent, I'd call him and talk to me. I, I don't want to say anything that's going to get him in trouble, but I don't want to say anything that ain't the truth, right. if that makes any sense. The last time I seen him was the day before I got locked up. He came and see me. Did he sign you up as a CI in George County? You signed paperwork in, in with the With Tell me some names of the people that work with. The office, if you say his name, I'll know it. I don't know. I have no idea. His but training, all I'm is, the training officer was. Uh, all I'm saying is, you signed paperwork at Jones County, though. I did. To be a CI. I did. Never signed any paperwork in the military to be a cool. CI. I, I signed. My probation officer signed a form that allowed me to work with him for three months. After that three months was done, I would. Please I was consider to be done. subscribing I wasn't to work. and liking That's when the I had video. Mr. Jewell. But then, Mr. Mr. Nobles took over my case because me and my, my fiance live in the same home. We have to have the same probation officer. But I st still, you know, helped him. So you signed up as a CI in Jones County. You bought dope for him in Jones County. Correct. Did he ever pay you? They did. The man that was with him did. If you'll ask them, Jones County, who his no, training no, officer was. Okay. How, how much? It was $80. I, I bought it. No. Every time you bought dope? I've only bought dope one time. One time? But he brought me money several times. Mike has? Mm -hmm. When? What month is this? June? Yes, ma'am. It was April. He brought me $100 so I could purchase a cell phone. He's bought me a phone card. He's ordered me pizza. But listen, this might be, this might be the icing on the cake. Is he going to hear this? No. The day before I locked up, he asked to meet me. Mm -hmm. I said, why? He said that he, he the, whoever the person is that comes in where you have to have your paperwork match the system for the money that you spent, he said he lost some of the paperwork. I, had, I helped him. Gino was supposed to be bringing me some dough. He pulled Gino over one time. Mm -hmm. He paid me for that. Okay. That's the one time you got paid? No. I bought dope from her and gave him dope. I got paid it in Johns County for that. Okay. But when he pulled her over right before Mother's Day, he paid me for that. How much did he pay you for that? A hundred dollars. But this That day, wasn't a hundred dollars to buy the phone? Correct. It's a different set of a hundred dollars. Okay, hold on. But this is what's going to be the confusing part. Okay. He told me he misplaced one from a date that I don't remember. He met with you and told yes, you? Yes, he came to Mother's Day. The day before you got arrested? The day before I got locked okay. Okay, Monday, okay, I did the Crime Stopper thing. They took warrants out on Gina. They couldn't, they couldn't find her house. I called the U.S. Marshal, can't remember his name, but his number's in my phone, yeah. and told him her address. They locked her up. He told me to call Crime Stoppers and get a code. He brought me the money because I don't have a car. I was in a wreck in March. Mm -hmm. He brought me the $118 from the SunTrust Bank in Gray because it was the Crime Stoppers money for telling them her address. He, that was on Monday. He came... 
it might have been two days before. He came to Millsville on Tuesday because I don't know the amount on the paper, but my signature is going to be on it. He told me he misplaced some paperwork for some money that he has to show proof of and ask me to sign it. And because I trust Mike, I signed the paperwork. The next day is when my probation officer came to the house, which was Wednesday. He told me to come pee. When I called and told him I was on the way and I was walking, he told me not to worry about it because they was doing that manhunt for the guy who kidnapped that woman. Mm -hmm. So I went in Thursday and got arrested. I talked to Mike the whole way to probation. He told me I'd be fine. He's like, I already told Mr. Nobles your probation is going to be dropped. You'll be fine. You'll go home. I was arrested and 30 minutes later he was arrested. So. Two days before he meets with you in Millsville, he tells you that he misplaced some money? Paperwork, some paperwork. to match the system. I don't know what it's, you know, it was blank. It wasn't an amount of money. It was for May 25th. So the paperwork involved money at yeah. the Jones County Sheriff's Office? Yeah, but I don't know how much he didn't have a amount on there. I belonged to him money. I got money back for a settlement for my dad. He told me he needed $300 to pay a deposit, a surprise party for his wife on her birthday. I loaned him $300 and he paid me back a week later. So, we'll get to that in a second. So, in 2000, May 2018, this thing was dated, right? You do remember May, the, the paper that I signed yeah. was May 25th. But I don't recall having an interaction with him on 25th for anything. It was supposed to be dated for May 7th when she got arrested, or May 6th. Her name's Annette. Mm -hmm. When she was arrested in a traffic stop, but he found dope and let her go. So he just misplaced, he tells you he misplaced some paperwork and it was related to money at Jones County. And it before was dated he, May the 25th, and it was blank for the amount, but you just signed it anyway. So true. So. But he told me, he rolled a window down before he pulled off from tournament days. He said, if anybody calls you and asks you how much money you got from me, you tell him, you tell them you don't keep up with it because you've been dealing with me for two years. But see, I heard he got locked up and I asked my husband or my fiance to call him because we've been together almost eight years. He called Mike and Mike told him to let me know he was out, but he couldn't have any communication with me until the investigation was over because he was 100% sure yeah, I was going to be finding me and where I was at. Mike said that? Yeah, Mike told my husband that. Okay, so he told you before he left that if anyone calls you and asks you about the amount, to tell them that you don't know. Yeah. Or that, that tell them that you don't know the exact amount. Right. And he told me, he's like, I don't do that for anybody, which makes me feel guilty. Is this my fault? No, it's not at all. Um, so Mike brought you money several times. Once it was to buy a phone, another time it was to put minutes on your phone. No, he bought minutes from and called me with the numbers in Jones County. Okay, so he did did he ever you said he bought you a phone one time? I bought him from Metro. He got he brought me cash. Him and his partner brought me cash. Okay, to buy you a phone. Yeah. But to do to use it for so they can contact me. Yeah. I had a I had a number. Yeah. He had bought me minutes for my phone, right? My son decided it needed to be washed in, in the sink. Yeah. No, so he brought me the money, and all, I, yeah. all I did was transfer the number to Metro, so I got a new phone. That's fine. Okay. Um, you said he bought you food before? He's, he's ordered pizza and had it sent to me. But that ain't nothing new. He did that in the middle of the too. But you don't know. I don't know where the money comes from. He just buys the pizza and has it sent to me. Yeah. How many times has he borrowed money from you? Just that once. When was it? February 2000. No, he didn't borrow it in February. I gave it to him in March, but I got my money in February for my dad or so May 18th. He borrowed $300. I'm in jail. I don't have a calendar. He borrowed $300. And my aunt Is took, here? Yes. And I, I met him at the armory to get it back. His, his wife's birthday is in I don't know. May. He borrowed it in May, a week, a week before her birthday. I got he it. said it was for a surprise birthday? It was for his wife's. He wanted to pay the deposit for the band for his wife's surprise birthday. If he took it out of his account, his wife would know and the, the surprise would be ruined. So did he tell you though, like he asked yeah. you like, hey, can I borrow money? Hey, I'll pay you back. I mean, that was the yeah. kind of deal. Okay. Yeah. Has he ever asked you for any kind of money any other times? Okay. Um, do you ever know if he's asked anybody else that you know of for money? I mean, how are like this? Mm -hmm. How often do y'all talk? Every day, just about it. Every day? How would y'all communicate? Through text or through calls. Both? Yeah. Which one more common? More common? Yeah. Uh, text or Facebook Messenger. I wouldn't add him as a friend because people would, because people speculate. 
I've already, they already tried to jump on me once because they in another dorm, so they had to move me. Did he ever promise you that your charges would be dropped or anything like that? Yeah. He said your charges will be dropped. He told me my probation will be thrown out. He was working with the DA in Johns County. He's even told Mr. Nobles that, my probation officer. Mm -hmm. I've never been in trouble a day in my life until my... And I told Mr. Nobles I wanted to get out, kind of out from under him. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, I just don't want to deal with it no more. Because yeah. maybe if I wasn't doing the shit I was doing for him, I wouldn't be using it. But I'm grown. He didn't hold a gun to my head. It's like you asked me if, if it's your fault. He's a grown man. He did whatever he did, whatever Mike has done, he did it on his own. It ain't your fault. It ain't nobody's fault but Mike's fault, okay? And that's something you're gonna have to understand. And I can tell you right now, you, you ain't the reason why he's in jail. I, I know you think that, but you're not. Um, but uh, you know, I appreciate your honesty. Uh, so how often did you talk, I mean, from June of 2017 until... We... Y'all talked all the Yeah, I mean, his wife and his kids talked to me on speakerphone. His wife's like, I want to meet you because you're family in this house. I've never met him, but I made him in Millersville, Georgia. All, all these things that people he busted, if he had 100 cases, I bet you I helped him get 50. That's why my probation officer was like, I really ain't locking you up. How about people in Jones County? How many people in Jones County did you arrest? Just the one. I can't do it. I don't know that area. I don't know those people. I knew, I knew Annette though. You know what I'm saying? I knew her. But arrested her, led to her telling on her boyfriend, which led to his arrest and bust and all that. In LJ, I mean, in Millersville. So, is there anything that I haven't asked you about that you think I need to know? Not that I Here's my card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you can write the note. You can write a letter, and uh, and they can give it to me. You know what I mean? If there's something that you think think of that you think I need to know about, or there's a name that you think of of somebody that uh, you know might know something that Mike did that wasn't okay, that wasn't right, uh, just let me know. I'll I mean, to talk to him. You know. I don't know if my I, let me get with my old man. I don't know if he would want. Because he's in drug court, mm -hmm. so I don't know if, if that did Mike deal with him. No, I would not allow that okay. because I didn't want him to get in trouble. Well, that's fine. I don't have to worry about that. Um, but but if, you, if you ever ask anybody in Millersville about me, mm -hmm. first thing they're going to tell you, she wears your mic, don't you? Yeah. Sure. Okay. That's yeah. why I was glad he moved. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, if you, uh, if you think anything, uh, please let me know, okay? All right? We'll get you out of here, okay? I'll get you back to the, uh, back to the back.